close that, close that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Even after sleepiness. Mm. Watch, I got this built up. Have some bronze. We got that tools. Can I offer tools? Yeah, I got that tools. And the apple. So, do the Necronomicon, and then go after some Shogoths, or start doing the Blood Magic. Demonic will that requires the snare, which is ten ash string. Uh, did I have? I do have spare ten. Okay, so I can get some snares. Um, this is spare combo. Eight spare combo. Six seven, I do. Two. One. So. Up. Up. All right. And then the. Uh, yeah. Um, keep that. Keep that. Food. I 
shield. Um, I don't think I can upgrade that anymore. But I'm gonna slip that in this course. Bring some berries. Get that fruit squirrel. Um, yeah, so this way I can get some cobble, which we'll need for stone. Um, we can make the furnace, we can start getting some wood stone for the altar. And we can work our way towards this deposit of whatever this even was. Tim. Alright, so that was right around here. That. Right. And you can work blade on those to make makeshift ladders. Convenient for making sure that you don't fall into an un previously unknown cave or a block of lava or whatever. That, that, and that. that. Cobble up. And this uh, works on stone type deals. Um, not on dirt and um, not on like ores and not some of the specialty stones I don't think even. Um okay. Uh I should also have dowsing rod. I think I put that in there. Yes. Dowsing rod is a reminder just lets you Keep at what is on the docket. So it scans 48 blocks away and then reports to you what it found in that direction 48 blocks. Wasn't paying attention to what time of day it is either. Time. It's a good opportunity to do a quick pit stop. I don't really need the housing rod at the moment either. Since I know that it's directly down. Um, this has got a block's worth. That. 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 Oh, uh, torches, that was a thing. So, do I have a. I do have a stack left. Maybe that's maybe a marker. Down there. Mm. 
I don't know if it's going to work on this. Nope, it doesn't work on the slate. So I'm going to drop the slate, replace it with cobble. And then I can work blade. I'll add around to it. The other nice thing about the work blade ladders is um, it gives you a slight lip, so you can let go of shift and get the regular standing uh, mining speed. <clears throat> so it actually makes mining straight down pretty Pretty straight and con uh, s safe and convenient. Hey, Gilly. Jilly? Gilly? How's it going? Yep. Alright. Keep putting in the ladder. Just doing a, a little quick. With some spare time I had. Nothing too fancy. Going to find some ore. Um. <laughs> well, so, um, what I was saying is that when you use the uh, work blade and you create the ladder out of the stone, um, you just kind of move up just a little bit, hold the shift so you're staying in place. Um, the the way that the ladder works is I take my hands off um, it gives you just a little bit of lip on this block that's unladdered so you won't you won't fall you won't uh, go into anything accidentally um, oh yeah 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 this is heavily modded this is the Sevtech Ages mod pack which is like 200 something mods. What should you draw? What do you usually draw? Come on, there we go, jeez. Are you an artiste? By trade? By hobby? Ideas are dried up. What do uh, what's your typical fare? Do you do like uh, profiles or scenes or action? So now this is where it's a little tricky. Is that we found a cave? Um, so work blade. Okay. Come on. Am I not in range of that one? Okay. <clears throat> what do you like? Uh, uh, I like fan of any particular genres, like action movies or cartoons or. This, uh, it's a stone ladder block, it's not a stone ladder block. Alright, sure. You know, I always say the thing is to uh, uh, do something that interests you innately. So I don't know if you are into any particular media franchises or. sizable cave. Oh, 
don't know why I'm looking around. There's not like there's gonna be ore. I can realistically just block this off. <clears throat> That's one of the things about this mod pack um, is that the ore does not generate naturally like you would be used to in Minecraft. Um, it uh, generates in a very large ore vein. Oop, that's diorite. Okay, so I can't do that one. Get rid of the gravel. And this, and replace all that with cobble to continue my ladder. That. Let me get a hands. <laughs> You're gonna do a. Uh, um, uh, David Duchovny and Zoolander. He's got the most beautiful hands in the world, right? Um, it's a hand model. I mean, those old school. It's, uh, if you're into the uh, absurdist uh, humor, um, that's uh, an old Ben Stiller, right? Yeah. And, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, uh, I don't remember the other guy's name. <coughs> um, but yeah, there's off the wall, just he plays a. a a male model um, in the fashion industry, um, and the, the slight spoilers because you know, you're probably not gonna go check it out. I'm guessing um, finds out that the because male models are so stupid, which in the movie they are. Um, they're the perfect blank, vacant brains, um, to be trained killers. They can brainwash them to go and, uh, assa do political assassinations and all that kind of crazy junk. So, like I said, it's really absurd, but if you're into that kind of absurd humor, it's a pretty good time. Do they have a second one? I don't remember. Right. Um. <laughs> right, let me uh, let me show you this. Uh, I was telling you about the how the uh, ore veins in this mod pack are freaking massive. So get a load of on the size of this thing. It's not your your old uh, like iron and gold like four to eight, if that. It's these big wide swaths. Of ore, and this is going to be like oops, ten to like thirteen deep as well. In at the at the deepest, like some of these will be like two or four or three, but like I wouldn't be surprised if I dig down, else we'll see another layer. Yep, and then you break that and dig down, and there's another one. If you dig down, there's it keeps going. Just freaking humongous. Uh, this is not wood. This is a bronze. 
pickaxe. So um, the ores, we have this uh, tea light, uh, teal light, I always say tea light, um, and when you mine that one out it turns into tin clusters. Uh, so tea light and um, sapphorite, I want to say is the other one, those both turn into tin clusters. Then there's malachite and azurite, and those turn into copper clusters. Um, and then what you do, well, it looks like it's about nighttime out there, or actual nighttime. Um, so you smelt those down in, in the melter to get the metals, and then you combine the copper ingots and the tin ingots into bronze, so you merge the two metals. Um, so this mob pack, the way it works is <clears throat> Savitech, you go all the way from being complete Luddite Neanderthal, like when you start off the game, you cannot punch a tree log and get anything out of it. You will, it'll just fail. You have to gather sticks off the ground, gather stones off the ground, get flint out of uh, gravel, and then break grass to get twine and make yourself a little flint pickaxe, just like a really old uh, caveman. And then as you progress, you get through the original flint tools, get yourself a crafting stump, you can make things, you have to, with the crafting stump, you have to put them into the grid. It looks like um, this guy over here. Um, so like, you would actually physically place them one by one into the crafting grid. And then you grab the crafting stone and smack it. And it'll create... I can't use that recipe in these, apparently. Oh, shoot. Um, get back. Uh, so what's one that I could do to show? I have some, I have some wood. Right here. Wood. I know this one. And uh, this rock. And the crafting block. You smack it, and it turns into the, the item. Um, so you work your way through that, and then you've got all these other paths that you can go down. It's basically these tech trees. So, working your way to learning how to create fire learning how to make leather. You have, you have to get the hides off the animal, um, then uh, strip them into uh, actual tannable hide, uh, salt it, dry it, uh, then uh, varnish it, and then dry it again, and then you finally have leather. So everything is this, these fully vetted out processes where you've got these drying mm -hmm. racks, and you got um, barrels. Let me put this, put this back. Um, you can't make regular chests when you start. You have to use these little pop open and closes. You can cart barrels around with you. You can actually pick up, I think, any animal if you have two empty hands. Not buffalo, they're too big, apparently. Oops. Or, oh, it's trying to be me right it. Um, but, so, you work your way all the way through, and it's pushes you into finding specific biomes to get specific materials. Um, it's like this all you can do with basic whatever is on hand, wood and stone. Um, but then when you get over to this tier, then you need to have something from the Darklands, which is one of the custom biomes. Uh, over yonder... Hey, zoom in. What happened to my zoom in? Oh, I moved it, that's right. Uh, that one? Yeah. There's the Darklands biome, and that's from, I think, the Abyssal Craft mod. And that's got all kinds of nasty things in it. Um, and, but you have to get that dark wood and dark gem shards from the monsters. Um, and then that'll let you progress. And then when you hit these pointy um, progression points, those are the ones that transfer you between ages. So you go from age 0 into age 1, 
or age none into age zero with the stump, from age zero to age one with the melter, and that's where I am right now. Um, and then you work your way all the way through, you go through learning how to make, now I can make furnaces, and I can make regular chests and regular crafting tables, figure out how to get all these metals. <coughs> the metals, I showed you how big the, the ore veins are. Um, this is the kind of one of the key things that drew me to the mod pack, actually, was that that ore vein that we were looking at, that we were um, standing on, did not exist until I hit age one. If I had gone to that exact spot, mined straight down in that exact same way, got to that same depth with my stone pick, it just would have been stone. Nothing else. No, no teal light. No tea, teal light. Um, when you hit that progression point on um, the age to go to age one, the whole like world kind of like reprocesses it freezes for a couple seconds and regenerates and adds the ores now that you're smart enough to understand what they are so you can actually find them um, and then you can go and you can find coal and you can find uh, cassiterite and telite and malachite and azurite get those get this alloy kill and, and alloy the two metals together to get bronze and then after that, you're working on, you have to get the blood magic going, uh, get to Necronomicon, get some rituals going, and then you go to the Beneath, which is another entire, oops, entire another dimension. Um, so you go to, an, like, it's like an, another nether, essentially. Completely custom. You go in there, in the Beneath, it's like just massive underground cave system essentially um and being in low darkness not only do monsters spawn um and weird shadow demon things um and it talks evil to you and whatnot um being physically in the darkness hurts you you have to be in a, a high light level otherwise you just take damage as though you were being attacked even though there's nothing around you so that's fun. Um, but then you're pulling out uh, the black quartz out of there, the aqu aquamarine out of there. Then you can start making these, uh, start getting into some automation so you can build a water wheel or a uh, windmill and use axles to get mechanical power going. And then those axles will plug into some of the machines, like the millstone and activate this, um, uh, this mechanical power, I think actually what they call it. Um, and it uses that to generate a little process. So this is basically like a grinder. I'm always sleepy. Also, hi. Um, so you get all that going. Um, and then you've got, you wind up getting, um, like a saw blade that actually just sits there and buzzes, and if you place wood against it, it cuts it up for you. Um, you finally get buckets at the very end of that, so I, I can't even make a bucket right now. <laughs> um, then you use uh, you have to go through and you have to make uh, parchment, and then you get the astral sorcery going, and that's a, has an entirely different crafting table and method um, involving starlight where it uses uh, the starlight from the sky. So it powers that uh, crafting table up using that um, to do these astral creations. Um, and that actually gets to like having like a five by five crafting grid. And then after that, there's like a, that five by five, but also with little additional threes on each corner just go as bananas. Then you go off to another different dimension and you're getting into bigger smeltery factories and um, all this kind of other stuff. It just goes and goes and goes and that's age one. Talking about, we were just talking about age two stuff. After that, age three is where you start getting into like the industrial era and you've got coal generators and automated production lines and that kind of stuff, which I haven't 
I haven't made it there because I'm playing hardcore like a crazy person. So I made it to the tail end of age two. This is the farthest I've made it. <coughs> and I didn't die. But I found out a bug was making me invulnerable. So I honor quit that save and started over. Counted as dead. Um, oops. Get me out of here. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. I'm doing. We're doing. We are, we are a team here. Team crazy. Alright. I can go in there. Um, it's nuts, though. Like, you've got nutrition. You eat a balanced diet, and you get buffs. That's why I have uh, 10 and two, 12 and a half hearts with that yellowy area. Because of the nutrition bonus. You gotta manage your nutrition. You need to eat your balanced diet. The wild berries only gives fruit nutrients. Bonkers. Because I'm crazy person. Um, so I was getting stone and then tin because I need snares. That's what we were doing. So, and then um, I've got these slime boots which are nice because I do not take fall damage. Um, and they make me bounce and I can get some additional movement with the bouncing. When I get to age two again, I get the slime sling, and that's where things get real fun. Um, which I did not find out for way too long last time. I went through most of age two without it. Slime sling is like a slingshot. Um, when you release it, it propels you backwards from where you aimed quite rapidly. So you actually like aim at the ground kind of at an angle, and you fly off that way behind you. Um, so you can use that as a, as a travel method. Just, you know, being careful not to fall into an open pit of lava on the surface, uh, ideally. Not had that happen yet, but it's a concern. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> so... A lot of times I'm playing this, uh, I played a little bit of Doom 2016, was it? The latest before Eternal the other day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and then occasionally, uh, Sunny Spam and I uh, play some vanilla snapshot hardcore. And she gets angry at me because I go and explore and die. And then she has to start over. Like a jerk. But we've stayed alive pretty well in our current world, right? I'm doing alright. There's a spot. I think I just want to kind of uncover the top layer of this out of curiosity. Showcase and show off how massive these things we are. But anyways, so you were uh, you were asking what to draw. What to draw? Mm. My hands. What's big right now? I don't even know. I'm not so out of touch with everything. Do you like doing like some action scene or um, do you like doing more kind of like still or is it really just your 
getting a feel for what you even like doing so far. about SevTech. Tangent and ignore your question. the chat you can tell her yourself um, she doesn't play uh, Sabtech with me uh, did briefly and she was like you're a freaking crazy person which I don't blame her at all do I would say like do like a, a couple different like hand styles. Do like an old school cartoony, like a Mickey Mouse hand. Do like a, a, a beast hand. Um, and a nice burly hand and a lady hand. And, you know, get a get a nice uh, uh, variety going on. Might give you some help and inspiration on uh, what you enjoy and what you struggle with. Um, so it's not speaking as not an artist. I uh, feel like there's some kind of some still some yet some similarities in approach. Um, in that, like, I'm coming into this blind. I have no idea what's coming in the uh, aside from the ages that I've done so far in this series. Um, I have no idea what the, is coming up, so I'm learning it all as I go and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, so just kind of messing around and try all the tools you have available to you. this entire pick. Whoops. I don't actually really need to uncover all of this. This is just my own curiosity. I, I've uh, one of oh, the second world. I think it was my second. Second world. I, I did this. I completely hollowed out um, the entire top, bottom, left, right, front, back of a uh, an ore vein. Huge. Um, I think when I finished mining the whole thing, all said and done, I had over 200 ore? 280? It's like five stacks or something like that. It's just a stupid amount. You find one vein, you don't really need, you're not going to need to find another one for, for a while. Um, did I undercut my, my entrance? Where was that? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Whoops. I need that.
would like to be able to leave. Oh, and how much did I get? I got, oh, I got 19. That's, yeah, that's well enough. No. Okay, so I got this. Um, and I want uh, 18. Do it in. Um, I don't have the ability to turn or, or uh, directly into ingots. Um, I I can make a furnace, but the furnace won't do anything to these ores. They have to go through this melter process. Um, and the melter, the way it'll work uh, is eventually, I'll make molds out of gold, like your pour molten metal into mold kind of deal. Um, and then I'll be able to place those on this table and then pour it out onto this. Um, right now, I'm not smart enough to know what gold is and how to use it, uh, so I have to use the, the casting basin, which does basically a block, like you would get um, traditionally by doing the 3x3, three three, the 9 uh, ingots into a block. Um, and then that pours out like this. Then that'll solidify, cool down after it gets its uh, 12, 96 millibuckets. And there you go, you got your tin block. Uh, and then you take the tin block, you slap it on the stone anvil, and you grab a mallet. And you go to town with the mallet, and then you get your ingots. Again. Um, so that's how I have to do it for now. Once I have that gold and I can make some uh, a casting, I can put an, uh, an ingot. Oops. Don't, don't, don't throw that. Um, you place some ingot, and that's how you do it. Like you place an ingot there, and then you pour the gold onto it, and that's how you make that gold cast of an ingot. And then I can make ingots directly. Um, or I can make. Uh, like parts directly and uh, gears and that kind of stuff. Um, I just find any of those? Not yet. Yeah. Not until the next stage. Yeah, I'm back. Alright, that's the one block's worth. I can move there. Um, okay, so I need to make. Uh, a furnace, and with furnace, uh, do I have any spare low grade charcoal? Just the one. I don't use those. I can use my ironwood. Ironwood in the kiln. Um, and then with string and uh, tin ingots. Yeah. Oops, I'm gonna need another log. Kinda of ahead of myself. Alright, whatever. So, there, right there. And we'll sneak out real quick. Grab another log. Okay. Um, so then the log in the furnace. Will smelt down into ash. Ash. All the string and the tin. I did the string. I'll make the snares. And so these are for capturing soul power. Um, where did that zombie go? Uh, you lose interest, you wander up. Um, so you find your target enemy, you throw a snare at them, and I haven't figured out what exactly the 
determining factor is, but sometimes the snare will cause them to get light particle effects. And then when they're under the influence of that particle effect and you kill them, then you get their soul to drop as a soul fragment dealy. Uh, but the chance is much lower than I would like. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, or if it just is a low chance. It's also possible. And remember, it's nighttime, of course. So let's see if we can get one of these quick. Kung Fu Zombie. Hey, there we go. There's one. And he gets the little things, and then there's the uh, demonic will. So you captured that from them. Oh, it's you, Skelly. Do you... You wanna... Nope. But I only needed one, so that's fine. Got that taken care of. Um, so, then that was part of the blood altar, so the two bronze ingots and a furnace. Um, I can just make another furnace, it's fine. I need to interrupt my current one. Uh, smooth stone. Got that. Demonic will. And the bronze ingots, yep. Uh, so. Blood altar. Wait. I'm gonna help me take it on a chest. Alright. Blood altar. Slap that down. Let's throw that guy over there. Um. I can go. I want to. I'll do. I know where there's a uh, Azrite or Malachite uh, patch, just a little bit over. I want to dig down to that so I can get this, fill these in, and then we'll call that good for the night. You can hold me to that. You can yell at me. It's fine. So as right is over there. I'm gonna need another pick. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, I only have one bronze left. All right, stone pick it is. Two. Mystics. Hey, thanks for dropping by, Gilly. Hopefully, see you again at some point. into ladders. Come on. That one. All right. And down we go. Ladder block. Come on. Ladder block. Mm -hmm. 
Ladder. Ooh, that was too much fast. This one doesn't like to. Come on. Jeez. I don't know why it's so obstinate sometimes. Okay. Um, so this one, yes. This is limestone. That's a no. Okay. So this has to come out and get replaced by cobble. And ladder. This is some marble. Get some of that for later. For when I want to do astral stuff. Alright, marble has to come out. Get replaced by cobble. And steps. Pick is dead. Long live the pick. See, this won't take very long. I just want that to fill in because I'm I've done several of those, um, but when I come back after not and not seeing them, I get confused. So I want to align that so that I can at a glance know where I am when I start back up again. Oh, I shouldn't take my much longer. It's not a deep ore. But if it does, you are certainly welcome to. You can punch me tomorrow. Good M. Good, good masochistic process. Progress. If I don't make my deadline. That is 39 minutes from now, thank you very much. Mm 
was your, uh, it's your SM dress. Spooky masochistic. You're welcome. I think that's lava. Or more specifically, lava beasts. Intelligence is people. It is, that's a pretty easy fix. I just need to come down here with the dowsing rod and fine tune. Yep, that is bedrock. But I've got shaft made. Yeah. So I just gotta swing back down with the um, uh, dowsing rod and <coughs> ping it every now and then. So it should be in the, I know what direction it should be in. I guess I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I know. Very close.
There it is. I even beat my secret time goal, uh, which was shorter than yours, which was 11.30. But now nah, that accurately represents what I have and haven't done, so next time I should do a garden, get one of those going, um, and then then it's Shogoth time. Everyone's favorite. And just barely over an hour on the stream. It's basically pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Here we go. Shogoth mist across the way over there, but it's right behind. In there. There's another one over yonder ways. Further. Oh, another one even a bit further past that. Uh, I do. Call it like 28. Yeah, there it is. So that's not too bad. This to act up before I use it. Yeah, see, made made a little bit of progress and made a friend, got a new new follower. Mm -hmm. Progress in many ways. And the boof loops are here. Look at them be boof loops. Now you can't yell at me. You can't punch me. You gotta be nice to me. You gotta appreciate me. Be prudent and tell me I'm a good person. Night.